Hello, you're very welcome to Crine's Charcoal. My name is Liam Crine, and today we have some Leeds musicians. We have Fanula Maxwell, we have Eleanor Smith, Claire Bohan, John McCartan, and Fanula is going to sing a Leitrim song, The Home I Left Behind. I was born on a hillside by yonder flowing stream. Tis deeply pictured in my mind, fond memories, thoughts, and dreams. It often nearly breaks my heart, and it leaves me a troubled mind. When I think of dear old Ireland and the home I left behind, it was early one morning with a sad and broken heart. I stood on the heart of my father's floor, saying tis sad we both must part. With my mother's arms around my neck, as the tears her eyes did blind. And I tore out from her arms in the home I left behind. We travelled through old Ireland till we came to Queenstown Cay. Was there I saw a steamer bound for America? Twas there I saw a steamer bound for some foreign clime. And from there I took my last fond look at the home I left behind. And since I've landed in New York, strange faces I have known. But there's none so near or so dear to me as the ones I've left at home. And when I've lots of shining gold and a girl to call my bride I will roll her in my arms in the home I left behind That was lovely, Fanula. Well done, that's a lovely song. Uh, where did you get that song from? Or um, actually, I think I originally learnt it from a cassette tape. Do you remember those things? Um, many moons ago. Um, it was a cassette of Anne Mulqueen. Um, usually what we did, was, what I would do is when I started off at Flas, I'd kind of find out who the adjudicators were and then through that we'd find out maybe if they had 
CDs or not CDs at the time, maybe tapes at the time, that we'd be able to learn some of the songs from them. But funny enough, when I learned the song itself and came back, I sang it at a concert, again when I was only a child, a um, concert in Ahavas in County Leitrim, and there was a man there called John Blessing, um, who I believe was a great flute player and a singer, and he said, you know, that's my song, that's a song that I sing. Um, and coincidentally, I also sung the song at, at John's uh, funeral, probably um, nearly 20, 30 years ago, I'd say now. So it was a song that was doing the rounds in that pocket of music that was going round in Ahavas. I think John was the last surviving member of the Clune Cayley band at the time. So there was that lovely pocket of music that was happening in Ahavas. But that's, I suppose, the story of traditional singing for me is that I had to travel a little bit to find that. Um, I kind of missed the era where those songs were floating around the place. I had to go in and, and grasp them myself. But it was nice to make that link and to think that that song was sung around the area many moons ago. Lovely. It's great to see the songs uh, being handed down from generation to generation. It's Absolutely. your job now to bring it on a bit further. And that's exactly what it's about. It's about passing them on. Um, more so, I always say that I'm not teaching a song, I'm passing it on. So we're giving it to somebody else and if someone can sing it. And that song actually has passed around through the, the English-speaking world. It's gone right around, um, not just in County Leitrim, but, but worldwide in the English-speaking world. So it's one of those, and it does change as well. And the air is quite familiar because there are plenty of other songs that are set to a similar air too. But it is lovely to have that connection and it's lovely to think of that that's what our, our ancestors were singing many moons ago. Go. but also sad to think that they were missing the home that they left behind so the sentiment is, is that too well, well done Fanula. thanks Liam thank you yeah so like I said it was lovely to have those um, pockets of music in parts of, of County Leitrim and uh, I didn't grow up as I said in the era of that those songs kind of floating around the place but um, I did grow up in a simpler time I think I, I was surrounded by a lot of elderly neighbours and my grandparents lived beside us too but uh, they were a great audience they were a brilliant audience and I think that's what a lot of uh, musicians and singers need is someone that will sit and be patient with them and I had a particular set of neighbours and they used to cut little clippings out of the newspaper for me um, of ballads that would appear the Ireland's own or, or the local newspaper newspapers even and they keep them for me and that uh, that particular um, set of neighbours as well this this song was inspired by their story or this one of their stories the the elderly lady so there was a sister and two brothers and um, sadly two years after she passed away and they lived to quite a good old age they, they lived in much simpler times um, a man came looking for her and turns out that it was her son who was seeking her and as I watched him he had, he had the same kind of gait as her and the same eyes and um, looked like he belonged to the land as he walked up through the to the rushes and I really just thought it was so sad in one way how she had missed out on this and how he had missed out as well and um, so it inspired this song it's a song that's called The Leitrim Child. <laughs> I 
ever going to be. Raced those meadows free and wide And I'd have seen my mother smile A smile that was for me A mother smile, a place called home A family that I've never known Never going to be for my mother or for me. But now this Leitrim child runs free. So I'm sure there were plenty of tales um, similar to that around Leitrim um, and, and lots of people can identify uh, with that story and I think that that's what makes um, traditional songs, gives them a lasting value if you like, is because the emotions within them, people can identify with them. Um, there are plenty of ways, so as I said, um, one way obviously was the, the cassette tapes. Uh, if you missed out on, like me, missed out on that era of where people were just singing the songs around their, their kitchen fires or the Kaylee in the kitchen or whatever whatever, that you missed out on that, then you had to find other ways um, of finding songs and, and uh, learning them. And one of the ways I found, and particularly in recent times when you don't have much choice, you can't move too far, um, is internet, where you go and, uh, you know, click the few buttons. Uh, and it's brilliant the amount of, I think, authentic resources that are on there now, as opposed to maybe 10, 20 years ago, because there's plenty of actual authentic recordings available. Um, but this one song that I came across, it just struck a chord with me, came from the um, Dukas copybooks. So for the Folklore Commission, um, they, they commissioned the school children in the 1930s to write about their experiences, so chat to the older people and to find out um, the way that they lived their lives and the songs and the stories and all that that went with it to find out those detail and from that we have a brilliant resource uh, and it was a great way to find out what was happening uh, back then and I suppose in the generations before that because they spoke to the elderly people around and this song is based not too far out the road here in El Finn and it's all about uh, Mickey Casey's christening and you know there was great crack to be had at weddings and wakes but also at christenings which is something that was a bit of a revelation to me so I think any excuse to party um, was the was the general gist of it so we're going to go with Mickey Casey's christening. <laughs> Down by Elfin, little Mickey Casey And Mary, the wife, kept an itchy bean They lived on pudging free and easy And so the Yankee bacon fat and lean With the lads and lasses and lungs of leather Bachelors and maids of grass Sure it's time to stick together For Casey's prisoners here arrive Down in the room which was not spacious All around on every seat Sat boys so clean and girls so gracious Like pins and needles nice and neat With the lads and lasses and lungs of leather Bachelors and maids of grass Sure it's time to stick together For Casey's prisoners here Into the house came swarming to see the prison and that we had. Some of them said the young Mick was charming, the living picture of his dad. Where the lads and lasses and lungs of leather, bachelors and maids of grass. Sure, it's time to stick together for Casey's prison and 
piper then began for the dancing. Tom Murphy bounced upon the floor. Since this madman began his prancing, such jigs and reels were never seen before. Oh, the lads and lasses and lungs of leather, bachelors and maids of grass. Sure, it's time to stick together while well, Casey's risen and here. Then play chanters for them. Then Flardy's Drake and the Black Knight. When Barney Murray with the fine thump laid him, Johnny Mac with his needle burst his back. Where the lads and lasses and lungs of leather, bachelors and maids of brown. Sure, it's time to stick together for Casey's prisoners here. Casey's christening. So great old crack to be had, which I'm sure we're all missing out on the bit of crack at the moment, but I'm sure we'll get back to it at some stage. So it was nice to know that the songs and I suppose the celebrations were simple celebrations, but everybody gathered, everybody came. And that's um, it's one of the things as we, we've just been talking about earlier was traditions. It's not just the music and the song. We were missing all this and, and sitting together. It's not quite the same when you don't have the, the kind of uh, elbow to elbow, but um, we'll get back to there, I'm sure, in time. Um, I'm going to introduce you now to a lovely uh, young singer, um, Eleanor Smith. So Liam uh, introduced her earlier on. So Eleanor, uh, we met probably here, I'd say. Um, Liam so kindly gave over one of his rooms upstairs many moons ago when um, we decided there wasn't enough music and song and all the rest and try and harness a little bit of that around the Leitrim area. So we ran, um, or I've been running a num number of workshops and classes the last number of years and we've been involved in, through Carrick Trad in that. And Eleanor was probably one of my earliest students. But when I say students, um, she's more than a student because uh, you know, she takes a song and she learns it, but she goes and she listens and she sings and she, she takes on new challenges and... Uh, She's a, she's a great um, example of the way that traditional songs and singing should be passed on because she's not just there like for, for one kind of tunnel visioned reason. She's there to kind of pass on the songs herself and to enjoy them um, and to enjoy a session and not be afraid to, to throw a song in there as well, which I think is really important and it's what it's all about. So Eleanor is going to sing first and she's going to sing a song that I believe that I learned from Neve Parsons and Neve Parsons again it would have been from a cassette tape uh, many moons ago and uh, then when I taught it to Eleanor Eleanor would have probably sung it at Fla would you have Eleanor? Yeah, probably, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. would you sing it out public would you sing it at a uh, session? Maybe once or twice at a session or something like that yeah but yeah. mainly Fla. I think we're lucky that uh, people often, I've heard from singers saying, God, we don't get a look in with the, with the song sometimes. But I think here we're really lucky. I know that you can never walk into Cryons here where there's musicians uh, on, a, on a normal basis, obviously, um, and that they won't stop and say, there's Fanula for a song. You do get called and there is a great patience around it. And, um, you know, the, people give to it here, which is brilliant. Obviously, we don't expect, you know, to be taken over um, with a load of songs, but it's lovely to see that they it, it, it goes side by side, that they're hand in hand. And you've probably witnessed that yeah, as well. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, it's yeah. great to be yeah. able to get up and sing a song every now and then. Yeah, definitely. Brilliant. So the song is the Flower of Maharalio, yeah. uh, a northern song. Leitrim was, I suppose, heavily influenced by the counties around it, depending on where you were, where you were situated. So definitely the northern tradition has influenced our song tradition hugely. Um, and Eleanor, I'm going to pass it over to you, the yeah. Flower of Maharalio. Yeah. <laughs> Pleasant summer's morning When all the flowers were springing Oh, and nature was adorning And the wee birds sweetly singing Oh, I met my love near 
charming blue-eyed Sally Ho. She's the queen of the county down. The flower of Marie With admiration I did gaze upon this blue-eyed maiden, oh, Adam wasn't half so faced when he met Eve in Eden, oh, her skin was like She's my queen and my heart's light The flower of Marabio Her yellow hair in ringlets glum Her shoes were Spanish leather oh. Her bonnet with Scarlet cap and feather, oh, like Venus bright, she did appear. My charming blue-eyed Sally, oh, she's the girl that I adore. And the flower of my Um, lovely stuff. So as I said, a northern song, The Flower of Maharalio. Um, and I did mention that, uh, you know, so songs and why people sing them. I, I always say, even when I'm passing on songs to people, that I, you could go to a workshop, for example, and we have fabulous workshops. We have fa fabulous summer schools, like the Joe Mooney Summer School um, happens in the Sli South Sligo Summer School and, and so on. Fabulous um, places where people can sing and can also learn and you can pass on songs to people. But I always say that even if you went home after a week of singing and you had a folder of 20 songs, chances are you're not going to sing those 20 songs. And it, I'm sure it's the same with tunes as well. You're not going to play all of them, but there'll be some that will that will kind of um, kind of touch in some way, or that you'll kind of find some kind of link with them and decide, yeah, that song sits well with me. Um, and I think uh, you know, Eleanor is, is good at that. You, you have the folders. <laughs> when we go back, I, could, I sometimes can go back to Eleanor for the folders and say, yeah. do you have the words of this uh, from over the years? But you would find probably you sing certain ones. Yeah, certain ones would suit your voice more, I suppose, and just would resonate a bit more with you. Yeah, yeah. absolutely. Um, and the good thing too, look, at there, there are reasons why people learn songs as well. Sometimes it is purely just for their own pleasure. Sometimes it is for certain occasions. Sometimes it is for competition. Sometimes it is just purely that if you're going somewhere that you can you can join in. Um, and Eleanor is great at that. I mean, you, you just, you know, you plenty of opportunities between score and flas and festivals yeah. and you've traveled around to certain singer sessions and yeah, so on yeah, and yeah, that you yeah, sing definitely. at them so i think that's what you need to do you yeah. need to kind of find um, you need to listen lots and you need to find yourself 
then and find your own style mm -hmm. and that's the only way you can do that is just not to copy one person yeah, to, yeah to immerse yourself in it nearly the whole, absolutely yeah, yeah absolutely definitely. yeah so we had another opportunity myself and Eleanor to <laughs> uh, to suppose add to a repertoire um, and sometimes these things come about where you just uh, you, you, somebody asks you to do something and, and away you go so the, um, a couple of years back it probably was two three two or three, maybe yeah, two, three years back um, we were approached by a filmmaker who was coming over from America and he um, he, his, his ancestors lived uh, in the Roscommon, kind of Galway mm -hmm, border, yeah. as far as I'm aware. But he was looking for a singer, and he was looking for someone that he could, could focus on. Uh, and the brief was kind of that there was loss and there was sadness. And uh, we had to write a song. So I went off and wrote a song uh, called Mavrone, and Eleanor then starred in the film, which hasn't yet appeared, but I'm sure after COVID, yeah. this film, you'll find it someplace, maybe at the, the Galway Film Flower, mm. so, someplace like that. We'll be looking out for it, Eleanor. <laughs> So we're going to yeah. chance to do in Mavrone. It's a macaronic song, so we've got a nice Irish chorus in it. After all that bro and all that sadness, we're going to liven it up and have a few tunes. So we're going to call on the proprietor. So Liam, 
you're in with the old goat skin and he's going to give us a few wallops in the bow run. So we're going to do three jigs, Claire, names. Um, made of the green Jerry Beaver's hat and the Leitrim jig. Perfect. Hey, one, two... Thank you very much for joining us uh, today. We are just about to finish up now with another song from Fanula, uh, One Day at a Time. Thanks, Liam. Um, it's very fitting, Liam, that you should be here as well to, to say thanks to us. And I want to say thanks as well to John and to Claire and to Eleanor. Um, it was lovely having you uh, play along with me. I'm not always used to having musicians behind me, so it's great to have your back up. Um, and this song we chose, well, I, I chose it specifically because Liam um, here, as we said, was a great hub for music um, for all of us. And also around the town uh, in the last couple of years, um, opportunities had to be made for people to play tunes and come together and say so to dance dance or sing and as I said earlier there's there's a huge amount of patience um, among musicians and groups when they allow people to to get out and to dance or maybe play their tune that they're a little bit wonky on but everybody needs that opportunity and there was a wonderful lady um, responsible for a lot of what happened in the last couple of years that was good in traditional music and we're singing this song to honour the late great Mary Mostyn. Um, it was her mantra and it um, was her song and I think it has become Definitely my mantra in the 
the last uh, year and a half or so and that's why we're going to do one day at a time and also just to touch on the whole thing of transmission every time you know this song you know when somebody sings it most people say ah that one yeah I know that one so even if they just know the chorus of it most people are able to join in so it's amazing how things transmit it's not an Irish song obviously but it has transmitted um, through the the Irish uh, the Irish world if you like and I think it's one that lots can join in on so you can all join in on this one on the chorus with us one day at a time I'm only human I'm just a woman Please help me believe in what I can be And all that I am Show me the stairway That I have to climb Lord, for my sake Teach me to take one day at a time one day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking from you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday's gone, sweet Jesus. day at a time Do you remember when you walked among men Now Jesus you know if you're looking below it's worse now than then Pushing and shoving It's crowding my mind so for my sake, teach me to take one day at a time. One day at a time, sweet Jesus, that's all I'm asking from you. Just give me the strength to do every day what I have to do. Yesterday. Thank you.